Okay. What does your morning routine look like? Most people need their morning go-go juice to kick through the day, and most times that go-go juice is coffee. Whether it's iced, hot, or blended, Starbucks has it all. And a lot of people have Starbucks in their morning routine. They will run through and grab their favorite drink before they start their day, whether it's going to work or after they're done working out. Um, today I'll be showing you and explaining how to make a Starbucks double shot on ice. This drink is very popular because it has a lot of ca caffeine, five shots to be exactly. And you can customize it to how you would want it to taste. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be showing you my customized Starbucks double shot on ice. With that, I will be showing you the materials needed to make this drink, the steps on making this drink, and how it can benefit you to know like what's in your drink and what you're drinking. First, we're gonna talk about the materials needed to make this drink. You will need your shaker, which is this, and you will need ice. Could I have your attention please? We're done with our hold. Thank you, everyone. And then you will need ice. Um, you'll need a shot glass. You'll need espresso beans. Well, pretty much just the Mistrina, which is our espresso machine. Um, you'll need your preferred syrup, a cup, and some milk. And each thing is very important to making this drink. Now we don't usually use um, shakers for our coffees. We usually just use them for our refreshers, our teas, or our like green tea lattes. But the one exception is the Starbucks double shot on ice. Secondly, I'll be ex explaining the steps to making this drink. First, you grab your shaker, and then you'll fill it, fill ice to the venti line on the shaker because that's the size of cup we're making. Um, after that, we will pump the syrups into the cup. Um, Venti gets five pumps of each syrup that you would want in it. I usually put white mocha, as you've seen in the video, and vanilla. So five pumps of white mocha, five pumps of vanilla. And then <clears throat> you start to pour your shots, which on our Mistrina, we just press the arrow over to the left and then press how many shots you want, and it gets five shots. Usually, I prefer blonde shots because it's more of a sweeter espresso, but it also is more caffeinated than our regular espresso. So a lot of people like the blonde, too, because five shots is already a lot, and then you want it more caffeinated, you want blonde. Um, once the shots are pour pulled, I will pull put them both into the shaker, and then shake the cup. After that, I will pour it into my venti cup and then put top it off with some 2% milk. A lot of people would like like caramel drizzle or something on top just to give it a little more of a sweet taste. And usually I do that too, but it wasn't one of those days. Finally, we'll be explaining why we, why knowing what all goes into your Starbucks double shot on ice benefits you as a person. Knowing what you put into your body is important, especially when you don't even know what you're drinking or could be eating. Um, even if you're not allowed certain things, like you're, you are diabetic or you are lactose intolerant, you need a certain type of milk, something like that, it's good to know like what is being put into your drink before you get it. Um, another benefit it can have to you is saving money. Now that you know how to make it, you can find it online or something like that, and you can make it from home, and you could save money that way instead of going through and getting a Starbucks drink every day. Trust me, we have our regulars that need their coffee. Over the course of this speech on how to make a Starbucks double shot on ice, we learned the materials needed for this drink, how to make this drink, and the benefits on knowing what this drink is and how 
to make it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a Starbucks double shot on ice. There are many components to it, but definitely a tasty pick-me-up. Thank you for listening.